Now, I'm going to jump right into it. Your new single has a very unique name to it, right? So, so I want to know, I want you to tell me a little bit, what was the process in choosing that name and what significance does that name have? So, pa que no me jodan. <laughs> That's a phrase. <laughs> so my I grew up hearing that word a lot because my mom, my, so my mom is Salvadorian. My mm -hmm. mom is very like, she's very peaceful and reserved. She does not like being bothered. Like she's really, she really lives that life. Like I know everybody be like, oh, positivity. I don't want to be bothered. But like my mom really stays out of the way. So growing up, I will always hear her say that like, no quiero que me jodan. Yo no te puedo que me jodan. Like, she just does not want people to bother her. So I grew up, like, hearing that and always saying that. Like, so that's, like, such a common thing for me to say. Mm. And one morning I woke up and I was like, yo no quiero que la gente me jodan. Like, I want to focus on myself. I want to focus on my career. I'm sick and tired of people. And I just kind of went to the studio with that feeling. And then this is how the song was was born. But it is, it's funny because that title came because like that's when I vent, like when I vent, like when I talk to my managers or my sisters, like I be like, hey, yo te cansa de que la gente me hold on. Like that's such a that's such a sin thing to say. So when we were thinking of the title, I was like, like what, what like what okay, good. yeah like this is this what do you mean so it's funny because when i told the title to my sisters they're like that's so you you're always saying that but yeah it is but, a funny title but here here i have to ask because obviously you're in the limelight right you have millions of people who follow you millions of people who engage with you how do you kind of balance that a little bit right because i can imagine you having so many people come at you at the same time how do you how do you kind of deal with that on a day to day? You wanna know how I deal with it? Absolutely. I don't. I don't deal with it and I don't balance it because mm. I just I kinda how can I explain it? Like it it, it can become too much. So I kinda like when it becomes overwhelming and or when it's like mean people that like are just trying to suck my energy like people that are holding in though because you know it's different it's different when you have supporters that are, are interacting with you and you're engaging with and you know you want to like let them know like i see you like i appreciate your love that's mm -hmm. easy for me like i love love so i receive that and i give it back but the other stuff the ugly stuff i don't deal with it because i don't it doesn't exist to me. I don't, it does, I give a blind eye to it. So I don't have to balance nothing because if it's dark and nasty and ugly, like I don't even, I don't even know what that is. And I'm real, like real firm and adamant with stuff like that. Cause I don't like weird and ugly energy. So I don't deal with it. That's how I balance it. Yeah. It's kind of, it's not to get too much into it, but it's kind of like a spiritual kind of perspective on it. Right. The you know, Yeah. One million percent. It is. That's, that's exactly what it is. And mm -hmm. sin don't feed into that. So mm -hmm. I never have to deal with that kind of stuff, Anthony. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Now, uh, obviously, this single is going to be a part of a bigger album. In regards to, to aside from, from the name of the, the single itself, what was kind of the inspiration for this album? You know, because I'm assuming there has to be layers about you at, at a personal level, right? Yeah, there's definitely lots of layers. I'm... I'm a layered girl. Um, but you know what, Anthony? I'll be completely honest with you. I have not really thought about an album. Yeah. That's coming. Like I'm I'm putting I'm putting an album together. You know, I'm in the studio often and we're growing the team to like make this like something amazing. But Right now, what I'm doing is releasing singles and getting to know my audience and also getting to know myself as a Latin artist in the studio. I did start off with English. Mm -hmm. um, I crossed over and I, I, my first single was Fome, which was like 
um i think july, uh, july i think i dropped for me and now this new song i just dropped like two months ago so i'm i'm having a good and fun time not rushing into like oh my god we gotta drop an album we gotta drop 12 songs and like let the world know like who santana is i i kind of want to like explore myself a little more and also mm. my audience and see what they like and see what I like. And I want to like, I want to make all kinds of music. So that's what that's I'm cool. doing right now. But I definitely would like to drop an album towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so that will come, but I'm not, I'm not, I haven't, I haven't dove into the album bag yet because I'm going to get obsessive and like, just like be like, no mm. album talk only like, don't nobody look at me if it's not an album look. Like, I'm just going to get obsessive. I'm a Libra, so I'm, like, really, I'm, like, doo -doo -doo, I'm crazy. And so not yet, but maybe towards, like, the end of the summer, top of the fall, I'm going to be, like, all right, guys. Mm. I think it's time. But right now, I'm just doing singles. Okay. Now, also, in the, the notes that I was given, that I was also told that the song is very much about valuing yourself, right? Making yeah. sure that, that, that you're putting... Um, again the right value in regards to what you have to offer and i feel that's an important lesson for everyone to to learn and i wanted to ask you was there ever a moment when you finally kind of came to terms with that like you know what i have to start valuing me yeah um there there's i think i think we get those moments more than once right like mm -hmm because as you keep living your life you keep growing and you keep learning more about yourself and I don't know as I've gotten older I've been more present and I've really like had been present with myself like getting to know me like kind of how you get to know a friend or, or someone you're interested in romantically I feel like sometimes we get to know other people more than we get to know ourselves because we're like okay well we're with each, with, with ourselves every day whatever like you, you wake up you're in your body but yo, like really talk to yourself like you're talking to somebody that you're trying to get to know. I I did that like I had I did that for like two years and I really got to know myself. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I thought I was valuing myself because I was like being kind of cool to myself, but like no, really valuing looks like this. So I gotta start doing this. And you know, so I think those moments, I have definitely gotten those moments where I'm like, nah, I need to start valuing myself because I'm a great girl. Or you know whatever your reasons are, um, I I still get those. I'm like okay, I need to work on this um, time management. Like mm. you know, like that's going to add to me. I really want to learn and know the healthiest, the coolest, the the wisest version of myself. So it's an everyday it's an everyday thing, you know. But that is what the mm -hmm. song ultimately ultimately is about. The message is just like yo, you can be by yourself. It's okay. Like that's not the scariest or the worst thing on earth. I feel like humans are always chasing something like chasing a relationship, chasing, chasing love. They think love is only with somebody romantically. Like, nah, like love could be being by yourself and getting to know you and doing whatever the hell it is that you want to do. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I think a lot of people obviously are kind of, um, scared to be single or scared to kind of have that time alone. Uh, so, yeah. you know, I, we've all been through that. Uh, so I think, I think having that message in your, in your music, I think it's very, um, it's very important. Now, before I let you go, Sin, I did want to go ahead and play a quick little game of rapid fire. Would you be down to play? I'm scared to say yes, but yes, let's play rapid fire. Okay. okay. Rapid fire. Yeah. Again, you don't have to just give me one word answers if you want to indulge in it a little bit and, and give a, a bigger answer you can but first thing that comes to mind okay okay all right now you did mention that you were a libra so i want you to tell me what's the worst zodiac sign out there oh my god i'm scared okay the worst yo is it are you an aquarius no okay i don't know i'm feeling <laughs> i've had i've had um I've had some weird encounters with male Aquariuses. And then what's your favorite Zodiac sign, excluding Libra? You can't say Libra. Excluding Libras? I'm, oh, I have like, uh, yo, honestly, I'm going to say Sagittarius and Geminis. Okay. All right. You didn't pick my sign. You didn't pick my sign, which is, I think, good or bad. Good or bad. 
Um, are you I, a cancer? Yes. Yeah. How did you How did you know that? I was gonna say, but you only said one. Cancers are my; those three are my favorite. I have so many cancers and Sagittarius and um oh. um uh, Gemini's in my life, and they're amazing people. They're really, really great people. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Oh, you, you just made my day, <laughs> Sam. You just made my day. <laughs> All right, now I want to know what was your favorite artist growing up. My favorite artist growing up, mm-hmm. Selena. Selena, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Selena for sure. Like my favorite artist. I have a few, but she's number one. So it's like Selena. Mm. All right. When you wake up early in the morning, coffee or tea? Tea. Tea. Yeah. Okay, tea and water, water, water first. Tea and water first, and then we do the cafecito. And then the cafecito. Okay. <laughs> and all right. Curious question: What's the worst place to take someone on a date? The worst place the fuck oh can i curse i'm sorry i'm so sorry but i hate this a movie theater like a first day babe how am i supposed to get to know you and like how are we gonna talk like i'm loud they're gonna kick us out of here like this ain't gonna work i don't want popcorn like i need a glass of wine like this is not no not the not the first day not a movie theater that's that's horrible okay who was your first celebrity crush my first celebrity crush was Cheyenne. Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love Cheyenne. All right, and, and last one. Why should people go out and listen to your brand new single? Um, because since Santana's dope and there's a message in the song and I think it's an important message and... My music's dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, Sin, I absolutely love your energy. Love the time uh, to interview you. I hope you have a great rest of your press junket that you have going. Thank you. And uh, wish you the absolute I best. You. I appreciate your time and energy, for real. And we shall speak soon when the disco is done. I sure hope so. I sure hope so.